Hello traders, John of StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, and MU. We file the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, they're free. Or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, looking for a new broker? Check out VenomTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. All right, let's get into the daily chart. NVIDIA, we're just looking at the weekly here. Let's go to the daily. So we did have $12.67 down, a little bit down after hours on 18 million shares traded, 6.39% down on the day. Guys, these stocks are getting pummeled right now. Great support at 181.09, that's what it held, and into the 750 retrace here at 177.59. Usually it's overshooting on the upside, this time we're overshooting on the downside. So it's holding this area here. Um, we're going to have to see on the uh, next couple of days if it's going to hold with the earnings coming out on Facebook, Apple, and a couple other of the big names going into the weekly earnings. If this continues downward, it's downward spiral, I should say. Let's go to the weekly. <clears throat> we will be retesting, um, I'm going to have to say, in the 150 area, guys. I mean, we might get a bounce here. If the markets don't get a bounce and this thing stalls out and this thing just starts chopping around down here, that the 50 and the 20 curls into price, it will send this one lower. And the 50-50 shot on earnings, like the casino guys, it could pop, it could drop, but it's due for a butt kicking. Monthly chart tells the story. I mean, we wiped out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 months up, wiped out in a couple weeks guys so be very very careful with names like this going into earnings again it's a 50 50 shot but when you get some sell pressure like this something's more is going on so holding this area though this is big right here if it does crack through that 180 area then you will be looking at lower prices a bunch of gaps to fill down here but first things first let's see what it does i mean just one down day on monday i don't will it will it continue possibly will we get the bounce um big uh, story will be tomorrow with Facebook uh, earnings going off. If that's bad, that could send these things down in a spiral. If that is good, this is a pretty good area to buy to dip then, guys. Then going up, you know, you're looking at resistance, 216, 200, uh, 204, you know, we'll have to see how this one goes. But uh, and then right back up, we're looking at the 50% retrace, the 3A2, the moving averages, stuff like that. But right now, Excuse me, a little bit stretched to the downside. I mean, it is, guys. Let me tell you. Let me look at the weekly. Let me see what this. Yeah, weekly's a little bit stretched, too. So it could bounce here. If it continues lower, we're going to get a great entry price for a buy the dip mentality, guys. Again, watch for earnings. That's going to drive these stocks higher and lower. And at the end of the day, that might not even care at this point. <laughs> or I should say they, they might not even care at that point. It's just going to freaking dump, and that's it. That's how these markets are, guys. Staircase up, elevator down. Let's look at the AMD. So AMD earnings, we're right into the area we talked about. Daily chart, 1685 is a 200 MA, and we have a gap filled down here at 1616. Everyone's trying to buy the dip on this, guys. Everyone thought it was going to 40, and boom, guess what? It's going to 17 first, maybe back to 40. I still think we have a little more pain to go. We didn't fill the gap today, which I wish we did at 16. Then I would possibly say it's time to buy the dip on this one. I still think we have lower prices to head. I like the 1482 uh, area or 15 bucks. Got a couple gaps to fill, you know, as it was grinding higher. But ultimately, we have that big gap right here at 969, guys. So. Does it make it there? Uh, maybe. Uh, if the markets dump, yes. If the markets start going up again, then we should catch a bid, maybe a shallow retrace um, leading into another short opportunity. But uh, weekly charts telling me 1583. I'm still looking at like the 15 even number, 1455, maybe. Maybe. I mean, great support here, but markets continue to sell. This one will go lower. And look at the, look at the candles right now on this chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven down. We'll see if we can hit this 50 MA and maybe the 1535. I'd still like to see the even number 15 get hit and maybe a little pierce and then the bounce. 
but we'll see if we get it or not. But guys, right now, great short on this one. Keep holding if you're short, or at least sell something. Keep you know maybe half a position going. We go down another buck or two, then you got to get out. If we do catch the bid here though, then we got to watch for the retrace. <clears throat> and the big areas are like 20 bucks, uh, the 2456, 2787, and then you're looking at uh, the daily chart too. The big gap fill right here right at 2290 and then you got the MAs here too as well so if it does start to go up coming off this 200 moving average which is a great area keep you know it's a great area for support but I think if the markets go it's going a little bit lower guys <clears throat> keep an eye on the volume on this buy that tells the story pretty much for the day so keep an eye on that and Tesla guys Tesla, we were $3.95 green, a little bit down after hours, 14 million shares traded, or 1.19% green on the day. So Tesla, excuse me again, guys, gosh, I, we did a live session today for about an hour and a half, and my gosh, I'm just that, that stuff just beats me up. So we get a little short covering at the end. This thing was coming in really nice, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, the markets catch a bid. And what Tesla do? Catch a bit with the markets. It's an overall market trade, meaning SPY moves up, everything moves up. SPY moves down, mostly everything moves down, other than earnings and news on an individual stock. Where you might like today, we had some green stocks, and when we were tanking 500 down, um, everything was pretty much red except for a couple. But then you see when we bounce, it all goes green again. Not all of them, but some of them. So yeah, so this one got a little bit of bounce into the close, so they're trying to save the day. Get more bulls on board, guys. So we're into the gap fill. We're almost into this gap fill, too, as well. We're into uh, the 340 even number. We had a nice push up, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, days up, and into a 619 and the 750 retrace. Can we go up a little bit more? Damn sure we can, but if the markets continue to sell, this will end up going down with it. If the markets stay light volume and start to grind higher, this should grind higher with the markets. That's kind of a market trade for this Tesla or for any of these stocks right now. Gotta follow the major indexes to see where these things can possibly go. So, so Tesla into great resistance up in here. We'll see if it holds it. We still do have a gap fill up here right around the 370 area as well. So um, just slow and steady guys. Um, you know, we shorted this one today. Let's go back to the 10 minute. Uh, we took this thing right around here. See how it went up? Then it came in, then it came down, then it retraced to the top here, this bar. We took a short, boom, half out, half of the half, and then sold the last half, a quarter position, and, and out. And then it continued lower, of course, and then we got the bounce. So, um, second half, I'm not sure exactly what we got. I would have to look. I don't have that open right now. I'm just looking at the charts right now, trying to focus on these. But uh, great day trade, in and out, boom, done, on to the next one. So, But daily chart, a little bit of a doji. Um, volume was okay. Let's see what it gives us the next couple days. There's really no pattern other than you know six, seven days up, and then it stalls out. So right now you're just watching for um, anything the markets can give us, as in uh, the spy and all that stuff, because that's what we're really following here the Q's, the SPY, the IWM, the IYT, and the DIA. Those are the major indexes that will cause markets to go up or down. And when they go up, everything goes up. And when they go down, step aside guys, staircase down. So um, right now, just in pretty good areas. We did not, well, we, we just missed the gap fill. And let's see if we get there tomorrow or, you know, do we reverse go right down? Because, you know, Tesla, it is one of the best trading stocks ever. 100 point moves up and down every other month if you could catch these man they are great trades so all right guys let's look at mu so mu daily chart 74 cents down 14 cents down uh, after hours what is this three oops 33 million on the day and we're trying to hold this area guys did we fill the gap Yes, look at that. So we filled the gap, 34.16. So this could possibly bounce. If not, we're going to 30. Where's 30? 30 bucks. And then gap fill at 27.96. And then this little pivot here, right at 26.92. And that's right where we consolidated. 
broke down and then boom off we go kind of consolidated broke down boom there we go so so that's what we're kind of watching right now this thing's breaking down we did fill some gaps but if oil is weak or oil mu is weak i was looking at oil earlier if mu is weak you know and the, and the facebook misses and apple misses this will be coming down into this area unfortunately Gosh, I wish we would have held our shorts in a lot of these positions. And then you get on the weekly chart, you get these big long red candles. These aren't good. 28.65, guys. We're, we're pretty darn close now. Does it set up? Does it retrace and then the next wave down? We're going to see with them, you guys. Um, volume was okay today. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst. Um, weekly, we'll see. We still got four days left of the week. And uh, we'll see what happens, guys. Not bad. I would have loved to have seen a reversal with some big volume. That would have helped us out, but of course we didn't get that, you know. We can ask for it, but we'll never get it, so. All right, so MU, guys, um, nothing really to do here. Um, I would like to see lower prices. I believe earnings coming up uh, maybe next, not November, but maybe 1st of December. I'm not 100% sure on the earnings. Someone showed me it uh, in the live session last week, and I, they're coming up, of course, just like everything else. But, man, guys, you know, this is the monthly chart how has it got a high flyer look at that hit the first target second target is 29 bucks and if this keeps going it could be a 16 dollar stock again crazy stuff guys crazy stuff so all right that's going to be it for today um stay small positions um one trade at a time don't get crazy with um you know in and out in and out in and out you know it's always easy to see after the fact gosh if i would have shorted here went long here went short here went short yeah, it's easy after you look at the chart on that day or you know a week later or whatever. But as a trader, unfortunately, we got to put the trades out there and hope they work out for us. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks again uh, for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.